the most important areas to focus on are the bottom six inches and the edges of your bat. The bottom six inches get the most impact when you hit a ball. The edges are the weakest part of a cricket bat, so this area needs to be strengthened as much as possible during the knocking in process. What we're doing here is compressing the corners so the ball is going to do minimal damage. The mallet must strike the bat on a 45 degree angle and not directly onto the side of the blade. Willow is an extremely soft timber and while this is a long process, the more time you put into it, the greater the benefits. Don't be afraid to slightly dint the bat. It's better you doing it than the ball. Start by working on the toe of the bat. Under preparation of this area proves to be the most common reason why some bats develop structural problems later on. Use fairly soft knocks and work into heavier ones. As you can see, the mallet is not hitting directly onto the square edge, just on the 45 degree angle. Once you've compacted the edges and the toe as much as you can with the bat mallet, you can use a grey nickels ball mallet. Once seam marks do not appear on your bat from the ball mallet, you can proceed to the nets. Once in the nets, if seam marks appear on your bat, you will need to continue the knocking in process. Cheap balls will only damage your cricket bat, so make sure you only use good quality balls.